All right, I don't have a script for this, so I'm going to do my best to remain on subject. But in this video, as you can tell from the headline, I'm going to give the world a perspective check from someone who is a highly sensitive person. Many of my subscribers are also in this category, perhaps also on the spectrum. But here's where we are. And without all the doom and gloom, I'll start off with a positive. Things I do enjoy. I'm not a totally insufferable loser, okay? I enjoy holding my partner's hand. I enjoy hugs with people whom I admire. I enjoy dinners, laughter, concerts, going into nature, chocolate perhaps. Some people don't like it. Um, you know, things that excite the senses. Pretty common stuff. Do I need to say more? On the flip side, I've arrived at a place as I guess you could call an intellectual or someone who takes account of the natural world and considers alternate perspectives that this is some hellish form of a nightmare. Need I say more? Go to your local gas station. Go to the center of your city. Just stand there for a few minutes. Observe the pure ridiculousness that we contrive our lives to going along this system which was designed for us. And if you have a problem with that, you have to take it up with the board of directors whom you can never talk to because they're in a Rolls Royce driving to their mansions and perhaps on a private jet most likely. Not being consulted in the design phase of any of this and having to inhabit a world which is absolutely maniacally insane, ecocidal, a death wish, is a very special form of hell. I know you're thinking, oh, maybe you just need to chill out, right? Wrong thing to say. The amount of stupidity, all right, assault on critical thinking that I've received in my life has driven me to a point where people like Joe Manchin, they have it coming. Ted Cruz, so on and so forth, not to name too many names, but I've had it. This is coming from a person who has a background in eye surgery and caregiving for those most disadvantaged in our society. I've arrived at a place where I am just fed up and I'm ready for it to be over with. Let's just go down the laundry list of what's wrong. First and most notably, education, assault on critical thinking. Any thoughts or any time you question the dominant narrative or what you've been told, you are considered crazy and psycho. Instead, you should get in your truck with your children and go to church, which is complete lunacy to me. You know, I went on a bike ride yesterday and some kids, comp some young kids complimented me on my bike. I'm sure their parents are hardworking, you know, industrious people of our economy. And all I could think in my head was like, oh my gosh, do you know what the future you have? Do you know what your parents subjected you to? You know, but you can't say any of this. That's the real kicker is any of these things I'm listing out, you have no say. That's the most hellish part about this insanity. And you don't need to go very far, okay? If you don't ever go out and you want to stay home and get on dating apps, that's a good place to start for craziness. Just get on a dating app, even if you're in a relationship, just for fun with your partner and scroll through the amount of craziness you see. If to, to any average man nowadays, okay? First off, there is no place for you in society. As a man with strength and courage, there is no place for you. Women will kick you to the curb. Um, they already have the positions of being a lawyer, uh, you know, prestigious position. You don't, you're not necessary, all right? And I know you're thinking, oh, gender equality and all that, and women have had it hard for a very long time. Well, I think the pendulum swinged a little bit too farther in the other direction. And that's just a minor complaint, 
Okay, that's more of a, a social critique. Because honestly, it's pure insanity. The amount of divergent thinking, uh, ins ins it's insanity. Okay? Healthcare. Oh, you're sick? That'll be $20,000. In America, at least. You have cancer? I'm sorry. Don't have health insurance? It's broken. And all of these systems that are put in place by people of high authority who do not want to be touched is infuriating. All right, and it makes this world hellish. And the social dynamics that come along with these technologies that we invented, such as cities and smartphones, have made us not human. Which is why you sort of saw these movies coming out in recent years about robots and AI. It's sci-fi writers, intellectuals, who are proposing an alternate view on what it still means to be human now. Because you're stripped of the faculties that make this whole process enjoyable. Okay, you can just go work your 9 to 5, change tires, punch numbers on a screen, that's fine, be a drone, but then you you are living at the expense of everyone else on the globe, all right? Your refrigerator takes more energy to run than someone the, the carbon, you know, emissions than some one person in Nigeria, all right? And they're still popping out babies, and people are still having kids, and they're going on mission trips to Guatemala, you know, it's bonkers, it's pure insanity. And I get why a lot of intellectual people just off it, you know? Because this is a nightmare, plain and simple. Life is suffering. It's already been said by the prince. I know, I know. And there's that big train crash in India. The suffering never ends. The wildfire smoke in New York City. People are concerned, but we just don't have the faculties. The system in place, which I am ranting on here, has turned us into not humans. Okay? And it wouldn't be just the system. It is also our own wiring. Okay? We are not advanced enough. Aliens are, aliens are very, aliens are very peculiar about, like, they're fascinated with our kind. How could they be destroying their own planet, raping, killing, abusing each other, lying, stealing, playing mind games? Okay, John Lennon sung about it, I know. Mind games. It's a good song. And yet it goes on. It goes on with a with a um, absolutely broken, mangled uh, economy, dating system, healthcare, education. Oh, you think too much. I'm logical. I'm looking for the future. I'm being an intelligent human being and thinking, what does my future? How do I make the best future for myself? And. This place we're at now, it, it's not even recognizable. We're not even human anymore. Jamiroquai was way ahead of the ball on this. Yes, that was a throw, throwback to a, a funk band, in case you're too, too young. You've heard them, you know, in elevators and grocery stores. Anyways, what do you do? People often in this position, and I read other channels who explore this subject of insanity, being an intellectual person, what we often do is just isolate ourselves in our intellectual high towers to separate ourselves from the stupidity, from the psychoticness, you know, but this post-truth society, it's nauseating and it makes you just want to pull the covers over your head, buy an AR and cuddle because I've had it. So in the meantime, Get out there and enjoy that nice weather. It's all we got. I'm done. I'll talk to you later. See ya.